on down below, I am about to turn 16. This is like so crazy to me because I've been the youngest in my school and I still obviously am one of the youngest people in my grade, but I've been the youngest for such a long time and I'm about to turn 16. Let me just put it in perspective this way. I am the last person in my grade to turn 16. So, you know, props to me. <laughs> So either way, I decided I was going to do the 16 things that I've learned in 16 years. So even though my birthday is literally six days away, I decided I was going to go ahead and just say all 16 things that I've kind of learned throughout my life, just in case you were interested in this and just because I thought it would be a really interesting video to look back on later on in life. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. My first one is there is a such thing as too much. With me, I love to try and like do everything that I can, especially to help people. I learned this really in like ninth grade. And like there is a such thing as too much. You can't join every single club. You can't do everything and, and then not expect things to fall off your truck, if that makes sense. So um, basically time management and also just not getting stressed out that's kind of something that i've really really learned number two is that procrastination is a trap i know i talked this in my sophomore year on um, video but like i'm telling you guys procrastination is so real even in like junior year it's just like there's so many different chances for me to like actually procrastinate and just be like hey i can leave that to last minute no no you can't no you can't don't don't even think about it don't even think about it because once you like slip up once it's almost like quicksand the first time you do it, you think that you're okay, but then you try and climb your way back out of like the procrastination trap and you just sink deeper and deeper. Whoa, that's such a great metaphor. Ashley told me you said it in English. <laughs> but either way, procrastination is a trap. Number three is that the difference between you and the next person is time management. Honestly, I ha deal with the issue of like comparing myself to other people so, so much, which that's actually going to be going into my fourth one. But like, honestly, the main difference between me and the next person who I see on Instagram is doing all these great things with their lives is time management. They're, everybody decides to, on how they're going to devote their time. We all have 24 hours in the day. Just because it seems like that person is getting more done in the 24 hours in a day does not mean that you are any less of a person. Number four is that comparison isn't productive. I've actually had to like drag myself away from certain social medias, <coughs> Instagram. I literally have an issue where like seeing other people's like filtered life on Instagram has like given me like a sort of anxiety. It's kind of hard to explain because it was, I, there was a certain period in my life where it was really, really bad, where I had to just like remove myself from the situation because it got to the point where like I couldn't go on with my life without comparing myself to somebody else. And like, I couldn't actually post anything without wondering whether it was gonna get a certain amount of likes. If that sounds like you, definitely comment down below because I can so, so relate. I'm so happy though, because I've gotten to the point in my life where it's not that I don't care because I so, so, I still do care. And there's a part of me in the back of my mind where it's like, hey, there's this other girl who's getting 300 likes. She got 100 likes in 30 minutes. Like, y'all are in the same grade. What's the difference between you guys? Small things like that. And, like, I hear that in my mind. But still, I've literally come up with, like, coping methods where, like, if I'm going to post a picture on Instagram, I post it and then I X out of the app. I don't have notifications for Instagram, so I cannot know how many likes that I get on pictures. I actually don't allow myself to go back on Instagram to see how many likes I've gotten until the next day. Small things like that. You wouldn't recognize that from like looking into my Instagram that I have to do that, but it's just the truth of my life. I just can't, I can't go on comparing myself to other people. I can't do that and it's not productive at all. So number five is that sometimes light makeup is enough makeup. I know for me, like sometimes you'll see this on my channel that I'll like to go with like a full on um, makeup scheme. I mean, I've never really shown that that much on my in, on my YouTube channel but I do definitely like full makeup looks sometimes and I've definitely had a few like makeup faux pauses which is really really funny to me looking back at some of those pictures like overdoing it with blush overdoing it with highlight that type of thing but sometimes wearing little to no makeup is the best solution and it's taken me a couple of years to learn that but like eyeliner and like a little bit of highlighter is like yes and plus, ain't nobody got time to go and do like a full foundation routine. <laughs> so number six is that you got to love yourself before you can focus on someone else. 
Now, I know, like, back in, like, a couple of my last, like, advice videos, um, I like to talk about, like, relationships with guys. And something that I feel like I never truly mentioned was that it has to start with you. You can't expect yourself to be able to focus on somebody else and their needs if you haven't already taken care of most of your needs. I can't expect a guy to be my other half, if that makes sense. Nobody can perfect me other than God. Other than that, there is no one. If I put that strain on my relationship, then obviously nothing's going to come out of it. So I've, it's taken me such a long time to learn that. Seven is that try new things. You never know what you might like. Honestly, um, this was like suggested to me by one of my friends, um, specifically one of the guys that I know. But yeah, he was always like, hey, Avalon, you should try new foods. You should try new things. Like, obviously, if you don't try them now, like, when are you going to? And that's so true. It's just kind of like carpe diem. Like, you got to seize the day. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight is that insecurities are a normal part of life and growing up. Honestly, everybody has those things that they just seriously, seriously dislike about themselves. Obviously, nobody has like that perfect life where there's nothing that they just wouldn't want to change about themselves. Everybody has that thing where like they have a pressure point right there. So like I like to say like you have to really be careful about the things that you say to people. You never know how much it could hurt them. You see that in TV shows like 13 Reasons Why. You see that in actual real life. You really just never, never know. So like I just say that, hey... If you have an insecurity, we all do. So don't think that you're any different, that you're alone. Everybody has those things, those little quirks about themselves that you may not like now, but those are going to be the things that actually make you so much different later on. And it took me 16 years to learn that, okay? So next is that contacts are easier to put in after practice. I know that in a couple of videos from like last year specifically, I used to always talk about how like I never wear contacts because I had a contact nightmare. Literally like I could totally do like a story time. I think I'm going to, so I'm not gonna really go into that story. But like my contacts that first time when I got them, it was horrible. And literally because of that experience, I decided that I was never gonna try contacts and that was like three years ago. Now I'm in 11th grade and I finally tried on contacts. I finally like got in the hang of them, sort of-ish. Left eye, why must you do this to me? But yeah, literally contacts are a great, great investment, at least in my opinion, and I really, really like them. So I definitely suggest getting contacts later on if you are interested in that, if you um, play sports specifically. So definitely suggest that. You gotta try new things. Carpe diem, you know, seize that day. Seize your moment. So next thing is number 10, which is materials aren't everything. I feel like we live in a really materialistic world nowadays. You see this on Instagram, which is actually one of my main issues with Instagram nowadays, is that everybody's looking to have the best of something, whether it be the best car, the best YouTube channel, the best shoes. They want to have the most of something. They want to have the most followers, the most likes, and that can get so, so tiring. I know like with me, one of my main issues was like it was so tiring to try and compete and make it try and make it to that level that everybody else was try and make it to a level where I felt like I'd be successful honestly I mean I'm still struggling with this today but materials aren't everything there are other things to life that are important also so I just thought I'd put that out there so 11 <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's okay if things don't go your way. Um, I know I may not seem like it on um, this channel, but I'm a pretty like, I'm not sure, is that a type A person? A person who kind of like needs to have control of certain things in their life? That's the type of person that I am at times. So like when it comes to like group projects, I'm not very good at that. Like I'm the type of person who like, if it's not done early enough, that really angers me. And I will actually like try and like do work for other people because it's not done like on time like in my opinion on time is late okay like if I am on time like I want to make sure that everything is done early so that if anything needs to be edited like we can get that done if that makes sense I can have that all under control so that's something that like I've had to work on so sometimes things don't go your way sometimes you forget your homework at home but you just gotta bounce back big Sean right there bounce back last night took an L but tonight I bounce back <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> so number 12 is that sometimes you have to speak up. Honestly, like I have like a sort of confidence issue, especially when it comes to like school. Like I am a confident person. I will say that I am definitely like extroverted to a certain extent. But like when it comes to like when your teacher asks you that question during class 
and you know the answer, but you're afraid of like having your answer be wrong in front of your peers, I need to get over that. I need to get over myself and my own little ego and just start shouting out answers. Sometimes that is the one thing that like, once you like knock down those walls, like the sky is the limit. Think about it. Would Mark Zuckerberg really have created Facebook if like he was worried of like staying in a box? No, props not. Number 13 is that confidence is attractive. Honestly, like confident people, at least in my opinion, they're just, it's just an attractive trait. I and mean, you're willing to actually like say what you mean and mean what you say, like that's a really great quality. And not only like friends, but like in guys. So number 14 is don't spend all your money on shoes. Like, don't spend all of your money on shoes and makeup really is what I should have put down. But like, yeah, don't spend all of your money on like material things. Like, spend your money on experiences. That's definitely a better investment, even if some people in your family don't think so. That goes with number 15, friends come and go. Honestly, this past year was so, so different because a lot of my friends ended up leaving our group, mostly because one of our friends moved schools. So definitely just realize that change is a part of life. Not all of your friends are gonna be here forever. So um, yeah, you just gotta prepare for it, but don't let it like keep you from making other friends because obviously, you will make a lot of friends. You will also lose a lot of friends in life, but it's just kind of like that bounce back thing. I'm telling you, Big Sean is like the motto right now. <laughs> and my last, but definitely not least one, number 16 is there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not sure if I'm ever really gonna talk about this on my YouTube channel. I mean, I definitely probably should because it could help somebody else. But honestly, you will go through hard times in your life, you will but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. There's always something to keep you waking up in the morning to really just like, even if you're in that quicksand, to literally just pull yourself out. There are always, there's always something to live for. So I just kind of wanted to put that at the end because that was like really that hit home for me this past year. Those are all 16 things that I've learned in 16 years of life. Um, I'm definitely gonna say that this was like more of an advice video. If you're interested in more like chit chatty videos like these definitely comment down below my camera literally has one minute left on its battery so i should probably go don't forget to like comment and subscribe and peace out guys cold enough to tear my bones it feels like i don't know you anymore and i don't understand why you're so cool to me with every breath you breathe i see this something going on Understand why you're so cool